Penny. If you're asleep, I'm I swear. awake. I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh! <laughs> drenched. Mm, Go away. I am drenched because I'm a perfect person who went out in the pouring rain to get you the Chinese food you said you were. <laughs> You are a perfect person. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't have any memory of saying a word about Chinese food. Huh? But as long as it's here, I'll eat it. Oh, Kevin, the time is so late. I hate to eat and run, but I'm afraid that's exactly what we have to do. Annie, let's not kid ourselves. If you didn't go home, kids would know exactly yeah. where you were. I know that, I just can't act on it. Oh. Place your bowls. Both. Annie? Let's get married. I'm starving. I said, will you marry me? I heard you. This is dumb. Really dumb, because the next time the kids ask we're going for the evening, I'm going to tell them graphically. I will. Good. You will what? I will marry you. You will? All I want is to marry you. I thought you'd never ask. Imagine what it'll be like when we tell the kids we're going for Chinese food. That's what we'll really be doing. Mm. And besides, I love you very much. I love you. What's the matter? Another bad dream? Do you want a sandwich? Yes, yeah, please. Whatever his name is. Bring Mom home yet? No, not yet. And you know his name as well as we do. It's Kevin. And Mom likes him. Oh. Hey, you want some milk? We'll go get it. doing up. Hey, what's going on here? I was worried about you. Well, I'm here, and I'm fine. Silly boy, goodness gracious. Can I join you? Sure, one half. Uh, no thanks. Um, Chinese food up to here. Well, um, I, uh, I have some news. Kevin and I, we're, uh, he, he asked me to marry him. No, Mom. Yeah. Yes, uh, and, um, I said yes. And Saturday's the day. Well, what about Daddy? Does he know? Darling, I only just found out myself. Of course I'll tell him. Kids, I'm very happy. I'd like you to at least try to be. I 
saying, it's about time. I'm feeling very sick of uh, babysitting for you every time you wanted to... wanted Chinese food. You're going snorkeling with Eric Pfeiffer on Saturday? Not this Saturday, you're not. I have to go. I promised I would. Good night. in River City. He's scared. And why not? Kids, uh... I know I've dumped a lot on you subtly, but, uh... I really love Kevin. And he loves me. If you just trust that, everything will be all right. Exactly a standing ovation, but then on the other hand, only one left the room. Not with Toby. You are so smart. No, I thought we should give him a chance to get used to the uh, to the idea before the actual wedding. But now I'm glad we decided on Saturday. Why? Because the sooner we're all together under one roof, the sooner they can deal with the reality of my being there all the time. If you're looking for the boss, Mrs. Nichols, uh, you'll find him in the yard office. Okay, great. I think you're right. Me too. However, that still leaves me five days to do five months' worth of work. So I've made an appointment for our blood tests. Blood tests? Maybe we are rushing. <laughs> I'll hold your hand if you'll hold mine. <laughs> it's Dr. Hollister's today at three. Uh, okay. Uh, there is, uh... I mean, there is one more thing. It's about the bed, see? Uh, moving into David's house is one thing, but... Talk about your timing. Kevin? Uh, his, his house is one thing, his bed is another. It's all taken care of. Benton's brass beds we deliver, and they said they would queen size by Thursday. Well, well done. I'll see you. I'll see you at, um, uh, at three. Love you. Yes. Yes, indeed. Well, Elizabeth. Well, Kevin. What brings you here today? The garden. I have some plants in front of my house that need potting. Come on. This way, this way. Elizabeth. The pots over here look just fine. Yeah, Elizabeth. This is good. Elizabeth, this is ridiculous. I know you heard me talking on the phone. I was talking to Annie. Who? Come on. You know, Annie Benjamin. She and I are getting married on Saturday. I, I was going to come by the house and tell you and Jake. I'll call Molly. I'm sure she and Mike can't get here in time for the wedding. I'm sorry. You know, Don't touch me! Never mind. Put him on my bill. And discount them, please, unless that courtesy is ended now that there'll be a new Mrs. Nichols. That does it. Mom! Mom what? Mom, where are my books? Mom, where are my socks? Mom, where are my shoes? Where are my clean clothes? What about breakfast, Mom? What about lunch? What about dinner? What am I Sorry doing about tonight? Sorry about soda. What do you want? What I want you to do is get out. Get out of my house. Get out right now. And I'll tell you something else. Just you go to your father's and let his new wife take care of you because I'm not going to anymore. His new wife?
No. Oh, no, you don't. You come back here and sit down. Toby! 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 Dinner is not over yet. Toby! You are not excused from the table. And I want this rudeness to stop. Penny. Oh, what now? Mrs. Nichols? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not Mrs. Well, Smith. I've got this kid here. He's been drinking. He says his father lives here. I'd like to speak to him. Jake. I told you, officer. Not an habitual. He's just celebrating. After all, it's not every day your father gets married. Congratulations, Pop. If you'll excuse me, I don't feel very well. Died and went to heaven on a gift box. <laughs> Neither. Hey, you want some breakfast? No, I'll pass, thanks. Could you tell my father to come up here, please? He's not here yet. He's at his place. He'll be here before you go to school, though. His place? My mother said they were married. They will be. Saturday. The wedding's Saturday. Well, how did I end up here, then? You weren't in any condition to travel. Hey, if you need clothes for school, you can borrow some of mine. We're about the same size. Mm, what luck. Sorry, just trying to be helpful. Sure been a pleasure. You mean Jake? He's still asleep, I think. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Did you reach Elizabeth? Did I? Everything Jake told that cop is true. She did throw him out. Oh, I don't understand it. I do. I had a feeling this might happen. I mean, think of it as a wedding present from her to us. Even so, what did she say? That it had been coming for a long time, that she couldn't deal with it, that what he really needed was a father. In fact, I'm glad this finally happened. He should have been living with me from the start. Annie, I know I'm asking a lot. He is a different kind of kid. That makes one each. <laughs> Would have been better if it hadn't happened this week. But it did. Those are the caterers. Tell Jake if he's awake, he's got a half hour to put in his order. I got to talk to him. Good morning. Jake, I want to... Yeah. Jake, listen to me. No, I know Jake, lectures, please. Uh, Annie and Look, I... Look, I'll apologize to Annie. Sam told me I was a little bit premature with the congratulations, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to be here Saturday, so mm -hmm. I guess that's okay. Oh? No? Where are you going? Santa Cruz. My friend Neil Benson's living up there. Blew up with Mom yesterday. Yeah, I know. I talked to her on the phone last night. Yeah, well, it's been coming for a while. Anyway, uh, if you can front me a couple hundred dollars, I'll be okay till we get to Alaska. Alaska? Yeah, we're gonna drive up there and work in the canneries. Money's good, and... No way! It's okay. Annie and I talked about it. There's no question. You'll live here with us. Oh, thanks, Dad. It's not open for discussion. 
Yeah? Well, think yeah. of it this way. You're getting off cheap a couple of hundred versus food, clothing, shelter. No money. I don't believe in paying for things I don't want, and I don't want you away from me. Yeah? You got yeah. used to it before, you can get used to it again. Because one way or another, I'm out of here. But, excuse me. Wine glasses? <laughs> Come on. Wine glasses are too much like a wedding present. I thought that's what we were talking about. Yeah, but you want something unusual, something personal that Mom would really like to show her that we approve. She wants us to so much. Do we? I think we have mixed feelings. Which we are trying very hard not to express. Really? Toby's doing enough of that for all of us. <laughs> the only thing he approves of is that dork's car. Which dork? Hi, Jake. Hi. Do you need help with anything? Finding? No, manage. Thanks. Well, about the present. Hmm. I got it. That antique mirror. Oh, yeah, that fancy silver one. Yeah, that would be great. It's about $70. And you got about 45 and I've got... 37, yeah. What oh. about Toby? Oh, he doesn't want anything to do with the present. I told him if he changed his mind, though, that the bank is the blue box on my desk. Good room over here. No, I'm, I'm okay, thanks. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Well, hi there. Uh, this is Mr. and Mrs. Glass. They're going to be doing the, um, food and the um, garden for the wedding. Hello there. Uh, Good these morning. are my children. Uh, well, let's go on in the dining room. We might oh. as well start in there. took forever. They held the wrong size blazer for Toby. Ah! Yeah. Oh. Sorry. The glasses say the garden is terminal. It's a good thing the real estate market is in such trouble. If I didn't have the week off, we'd have to either relax, elope relax. or postpone the ceremony. And listen to this. I completely forgot to tell David about us, but Benton's brass beds took care of it for me. What? Long story, they lost my phone number, called the name on the account. Oh, how did he react to that? Mm -hmm. Quite cheerfully. After all, his spousal support payments stopped. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Mm. Anyway, I came by because he's taking all the kids to dinner. Oh, seems to be Father's Night. I managed to talk Jake into having dinner with me. No easy task, since he's heavy into door slamming. Mm. <sighs> Would you, uh... I don't mind. Oh, I don't know. I was thinking of a... maybe a farewell Chinese food festival. Well, I don't have to see Jake until 7.30. extra key in the kitchen. I meant to give it to you. That's all right. Don't need one. Uh, you make it? Yeah. I was wondering what you were going to do for clothes. Yeah, well, my mother has her group today, so the coast was clear. Jake, um, I, uh, I just wanted to say again how sorry I am about what happened between the two of you. And um, that I, uh, we really want you to stay here with us, if that's what you want. Yeah, well, I... I, I know, you haven't made up your mind. But, um, well, when you do, just let me know and I'll start working on that dumb wallpaper in your room. 
Thanks for the offer. I'm going to get the rest of my stuff at the... Hey, you ready? Almost. Well, hurry up. Tess is ready and so am I. You know how Dad gets when we're late. Okay? Oh, I'm glad I caught you. This is for you. Get lost for a minute, would you, soon? Hey, five minutes. What is it? I'll open it and see. Blazer and slacks. I think you will look absolutely gorgeous. I want them. Toby, they're for the wedding. I know what they're for, but I don't want them. Okay, Toby, enough is enough. Now, look, we have to talk. You have to tell me what's going on. Nothing going on. I think there is. You're angry and upset. I just don't want to wear that rotten blazer. Toby, if you're trying to tell me that you don't want to come to the wedding, forget it. You will come, and you will wear these clothes. Like it or not. Have a nice dinner with your father. See you later. Put them on the back porch. Second marriage, who pays? The bride or the groom? Actually, your mother was nice enough to volunteer. My mother? It's a joke, David. Pardon me. Sorry. Did you want something? A brass clock. I've been meaning to pick it up. Excuse me. Of course. Right where you left it. Hey, Toby. How do you think the children are taking it? Surprisingly well, all things considered. I know. They're really trying. Toby worries me, though. Oh, Toby worries you. Toby's miserable. Or doesn't that matter to you? Of course it matters to me. But he was miserable when we got a divorce. He was miserable at the end of our marriage, if you remember. And I think, on the whole, he's doing better than ever. Well, couldn't you wait a while? I mean, for Toby's sake? For Toby's sake? Or for yours? Hello? No, not king size, queen. That is not the point. The room is too small. The room is too small for no matter how much I can say. Yes, queen, absolutely. I, yes, today, all afternoon. Yes, goodbye. I'd better get going. David, about what I said. You don't have to say anything, Annie. You're right. It's me that's upset. I mean, Toby's upset too, but he'll get over it. And so will I. Thank you. I better shove off. I really came over to congratulate you. Thank you. I 
hope it works out for you better this time. The good times were really good, David. And the bad ones... Well, we'll just try and improve on those. I wish you the best. Truly, I do. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to have to build some shelves in my closet. Too. I've you been got waiting it. for them for years. Dad, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, uh, just a sec. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take Toby out for a treat. He and I need some time alone. Which reminds me, you and I are gonna have to learn how to sign. Kevin! Kevin! He's gone. He's downstairs. No, he tied Montgomery up. Montgomery I follows know. him everywhere. Oh, he was. Kevin, I think he's run away. I don't think so. I think she's right. Listen, I better tell you what I saw Toby do. Hello? Kevin? Yeah. This is David. Uh, let me speak to Annie, please. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's David. Was he? At the bus station. Ticket man saw my name on his emergency card in his wallet and was decent enough to call me. Is he all right? Well, he's furious he was stopped, but he's all right. Can you tell me where the hell he got almost $90? Most of it was money that Sam and Tess were using to... It doesn't matter, David. Where are you? In a phone booth. Bus leaving for Seattle, Tacoma. Look, I'll drive him home. But I think you should be prepared. He doesn't want to see you. I didn't think he would. Thanks, David, for everything. Well, I guess you all heard. He's fine. Daddy's bringing him home. I'm glad he's okay. I better call the police. for the big wedding? <laughs> What's this? Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. The bed. Get that thing out of here. Come on, Mac. Where do you want us to put it? You really Just want to know? Just take it outside. You wise guy. Right there. For right. the MG. Right around the corner. St. Lake's, you know. Yeah. Right around there. I don't know. Boys, I'm ready. He was already down here. <sighs> Wrong again. Let's go ahead. Uh, we have gathered here today for the purpose, with these witnesses, to unite in matrimony Kevin Philip Nichols and Anthea Sarah Benjamin. The contract of marriage is the most solemn one, uh, not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously. 
and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Kevin, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And you promise to love and comfort her, to honor and keep her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity and forsaking all others. Be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I do. Anthea, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Do you promise to love and comfort him, to honor and keep him in sickness and in health? Toby. He, um, he had trouble tying his tie. Go on, please. Do you promise to love and comfort him, to honor and keep him in sickness and in health? in prosperity and adversity, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Uh, you take the ring and put it on the ring finger of our left hand and repeat after me. With this ring, mighty wed. And this, Sarah. This, this ring. I thee wit. Now, by virtue of the authority vested in me as a judge of the municipal court, I pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, you may kiss the bride. 